Hello there, and welcome to the first episode of Maxing a Level 3 Skiller in 6 weeks. This is my Level 3 Skiller series, Leagues 3 Edition. Now, I'm up a little bit before the League, just kind of taking a look at all the relics and uh, tasks here, because I'm going in pretty blind other than what I'm looking at now. I just kind of wanted to see if it was actually possible, and it seems like it is, based on all the tasks and relics, that we should be able to unlock all skills rather quickly, as well as have a bunch of... Uh, really good relics in order to gain a lot of XP. Now for anyone that might not know what a level 3 skiller is, it is basically just an account that stays level 3, so you do not level any combat stats. So the goal for this league will be 99 in all stats, other than combat related stats, and we might do slayer, I'm not really sure how much time we're going to have left. The only way to do slayer is to clean finds at the museum, but with a 16x XP rate they wouldn't be too bad. But everything except for combats and slayer is the goal. I have no real plan mapped out in terms of like what skills to unlock first or what tasks to go for. A lot of it's going to be winging it on the fly. The main goal is just to have fun, and the eventual goal is to max over the long term of six weeks. Now for all of you watching from my other series, do not worry, I still will be playing the one year account on the side. This account is not the priority, this account is simply for fun. I still got about a half an hour, so I guess I'm just going to keep going through all these tasks and uh, just double checking, seeing what kind of stuff I can get done. It seems like a lot of it will be pretty straightforward. The biggest thing with this league is being able to unlock quests with your points. So there's a couple quests I can think of that level threes can't do that would be super useful. One of them being Family Crest, giving access to cooking gauntlets and even smithing gauntlets. Possibly Taibo one I trio as well with access to Karamb ones. I'm not really too sure what other quests I'd be, want to auto-complete. I can't really think off the top of my head of stuff that would give me access to uh, skilling methods that I wouldn't otherwise have. So if you guys have any ideas, definitely mention them down below. And here we are. Right on time, surprisingly. It's 7.01. I uh, don't know how to get through this. But I'm assuming the worlds are going to be a little bit laggy just because it's right off the hop here. So we'll come back once this cutscene's over. And here we are, surprisingly on time. That's uh, pretty exciting stuff. Go ahead and get started here. I honestly don't care what I look like. Don't want to waste time doing that. And uh, here we go, guys. League has begun. And just like that, we got our first task already done. Now we get to fit, pick our first combat skill here. It really doesn't matter for me. I'm just going to pick range. Um, again, we're not doing any of these skills anyway. We're just going to go ahead and pick that. And look at all the people. Here we go, guys. Where's that man? Pickpocket that guy. Boom. Task complete. First thing I'm going to do is go into all these and turn off all my attack options. Turn off auto retaliate because we do not want to gain any XP. Because if we gain XP, we might just accidentally get a level given the uh, boosted rates here. Since we only have thieving and fishing technically unlocked, we're going to go ahead and just uh, do a couple of the quick fishing and, and even potentially cooking tasks and just see where we go from there. And there's a task to catch a shrimp. We got 50 XP from that. Pretty nuts. Actually pretty crazy how slow it is to fish shrimp here. There's our first level two. Now you can still perform the actions even though you do not have the skills unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and cook these. To uh, get that task done and hopefully burn one as well. There we go. Perfect. Same idea. We do not yet have woodcutting unlocked, but it is a task to chop some logs. Should also be a task to burn some logs, I'm assuming. Level 1 fire making, by the way. I like that you can train skills even though you don't have them unlocked. At least the very, like, basic. Come on now. Anytime now. Come on. I should go buy a knife to do the uh, arrow shaft task as well. That'd be good, I think. Wow, level one fire making really is a struggle. There we go. Burn some logs. Went ahead and got stung by some bees for another task complete. I think we are going to go buy that knife because we're going to need it later anyway. But I think we can go over to the charter ship here and buy one. We're actually up to uh, 10 Sages Renounce. We, I believe we have enough to unlock a skill as well. So what's our first skill going to be? Oh, buying a knife from that guy was actually a task. That's pretty neat. Looking at our first skills here, I think we're going to unlock agility first. Um, agility is very useful. There's a lot of easy tasks associated with it as well. So we're going to go ahead and unlock agility and work our way towards the gnome stronghold. 
Then go ahead and make some arrow shafts here. Should be a task. There it is. Beautiful. I think I'm going to quickly get five thieving here just before moving on, just so I can uh, do cake stalls and arty as well. And there's level five thieving, which is our first level five. I think my goal for now is just to kind of get out of the starting area. So we're going to go ahead and run our way down to arty here, do a couple of the uh, thieving tasks, and then uh, move on from there. Going to go ahead and touch this waystone here. It is now activated, so we can teleport to other waystones that we have. It should be a couple tasks to steal from this here. Might take a while to get it, but uh, we'll get it eventually. Just got our first level 10 while going for the chocolate cake here. This chocolate cake slice is taking a very long time. This is kind of weird. <laughs> there we go. We got it. Moving on. We're actually going to stay here to level 20 so we can thieve the silk because that's probably another task anyway. We're going to need it for the arty easy. Okay, there's our first level 20. We should be able to come over to the silk stall and take one from there as well. And that should hopefully be a task. It is beautiful. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a quest and we're going to do Hazil Cult. We're going to need it for the kudos or Fossil Island. It's also a lot of early game thieving XP and uh, gives you 2k GP, which is pretty decent. Probably take like 10 minutes, but I'm in no big rush. It's probably worth doing. We might not actually be able to do this quest because it looks like someone killed the guy we need to talk to. Oh, never mind. There he is. There we go. 7,500 thieving XP drop. We're up to level 29. Not too bad. Casting home teleport was also a task. I'm going to go ahead and buy some farming stuff from this guy now that we have the, uh, the money to do so. And then we're just going to go ahead and rake a patch, which is a nice easy task. There's also a task to pick wheat right there, so e easily. We have another 10 points, so what we're going to go ahead and do is unlock wood cutting. I kind of think I should have done this first rather than agility. We're going to go ahead and do monk's friend, which having agility or having wood cutting unlocked makes that uh, much better. And here we have monk's friend being completed. We're starting at level 2 wood cutting. I believe this is a 10,000 XP drop with the 5x multiplier, so should be pretty decent here up to level 27 and five points for completing the quest wow and it quickly chops some bulk logs here because i'm assuming that's a task well turns out i am very wrong we are entering the tree gnome stronghold we're going to go ahead and get 10 agility on this course here we're also going to try to find the waste down i was looking through the quest unlocks and you kind of have to unlock them in bundles of like quest lines. I'm not really sure if there's an, like a fossil island option here. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do the combat quests that I need to do, but uh, we'll see, I guess. There's level 10 agility. It only took three laps. We can now move on. Upon further investigation, there's actually this bundle of quests here that unlocks fossil island for you for 12 points. So that's going to be uh, how we get there, I guess. Just got a thieving relic. Let's go ahead and see what this is. We've unlocked the clued in fragment, which is. How do you even find it here? Smooth criminal. Yes, we pickpocket increased by 15%. Nice. And that's our first level 30 for 25 points. So the worlds went down about an hour and a half ago at this point. I was hoping they'd be back by now, but I pretty much just got logged off. I didn't even notice the system update, to be honest, but apparently people's accounts were becoming Iron Man in the main game. So if they were mains or if they were hardcore Iron Man or something, they were becoming Iron Man. A pretty major problem, and there's been a couple of tweets saying that they're working on a rollback for the main game, but maybe not for the leagues. So I'm assuming we're going to get to keep this uh, one hour's worth of progress. We got to play for pretty much exactly one hour then we'll be able to log right back in. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and upload this video and then maybe upload a second video later today just because I don't really know when the worlds are going to come back up. Mod Ash made a tweet saying that the rollbacks have never taken less than like three and a half hours. So if that's the case, uh, we won't be playing for another like two, two hours or so. so. That'd be pretty unfortunate, but it is what it is. I hope they can get it fixed as soon as possible. But anyways, guys, that's kind of a brief look into the level three skiller that I'm planning for the leagues. And I'm going to be trying to upload every single day. So look forward for that.